Apocalypse. Top 10 Abandoned Places You're Not Allowed to Visit 10. Brio Refinery Site, USA The Brio Refinery Site in Texas is an industrial complex that was abandoned when the company went bankrupt in 1982. But deep beneath the ground, unprocessed petroleum and waste chemical materials were left stored in soil pits. The toxic chemicals leaked into the groundwater, exposing the local citizens to the hazardous materials. Residents began complaining of health problems and leukemia. Central nervous disorders and birth defects became rife in the nearby towns. A court settlement resulted in the Brio Group paying out $207 million in compensation the largest settlement at the time for toxic waste cases. Today, the area is restricted and the underground toxic pollution has been contained. 9. North Brother Island, USA North Brother Island is located in the Hellgate section of the East River in New York. The island remained uninhabited until 1885 when Riverdale Hospital was set up to quarantine patients suffering from smallpox and leprosy. Its most infamous patient was Typhoid Mary, who was forcibly isolated on the island for 30 years until her death in 1938. This was after she infected at least 51 people with the deadly disease. In the 1950s, the island was home to a drug rehabilitation center. Here, heroin addicts were locked in a room against their will until they were presumed to be clean. But after a decade of corruption and a heavy relapse rate, the facility was closed down, leaving the island abandoned. Now under the jurisdiction of the Parks Department, the island is off-limits to the public and the buildings have been reclaimed by nature. 8. Superconducting Super Collider, USA in the 90s, plans were put forward to construct the world's largest Hadron Collider in Texas, based on CERN's Collider in Switzerland. But the projected completion budget of $4.4 billion blew up to $12 billion in two years, and as a result, the government had to decide between funding the Collider or the International Space Station. The Hadron Collider was abandoned in 1993. This was despite $2 billion having been spent on 22.5 kilometers of tunnels and 17 shafts to the surface. 7. The Elephant's Foot, Ukraine The city of Pripyat was abandoned in 1986 after the Chernobyl disaster. The explosion in the city's nuclear power plant resulted in radioactive material spreading over Western USSR and Europe. If you took this photo, you would die. This is the melted remains of the reactor. It gives off 10,000 runtions per hour, 10 times the lethal dose needed to kill humans. If you stood in front of it for 30 seconds, you would die of radiation sickness just two weeks later. The site will remain radioactive for 10,000 years, and Ukrainian officials estimate that the surrounding 2,600 kilometers, known as the Exclusion Zone, will not be safe for human life again for the next 20,000 years. 6. Tomb of Qinxi Wan, China In central China, buried under a hill and surrounded by a moat of toxic mercury, lies the incredible tomb of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. Qin Shi Huang was buried in 210 BC with his famous terracotta army, made up of 8,000 life-size soldiers. Tourists can view some examples of the clay army recovered from secondary chambers. However, archaeologists are unsure how to safely excavate the main tomb without succumbing to mercury poisoning. This means that no humans have set foot there for hundreds of years. 5. Georgia Nuclear Aircraft Lab, USA In the 1950s, the United States Air Force and aircraft manufacturing company Lockheed Martin started work on a set of top-secret nuclear reactors in Dawsonville, Georgia. The reactors were first used to develop the possibility of a nuclear-powered bomber although they were later used to expose different materials to radiation and test the effects. The 10th nuclear reactor was completely unshielded, 
so when it was used, the researchers would retreat into extensive underground tunnels. These were built around the facility to protect them from radiation. The tests were so frequent that all the leaves in the surrounding forest died. In 1971, the facility was closed, and the entrance to the tunnels was destroyed to prevent would-be explorers from touching radioactive substances. 4. RAF Upper Hayford, UK RAF Upper Hayford was a Royal Air Force station that was used as a centre for US activities in the Cold War. It was used to house B-52 bombers and nuclear bombs, and it also kept top-secret U-2 reconnaissance planes which were deployed to spy on Soviet military activities and their nuclear tests. The station had a number of special bunkers constructed to protect the aircraft from bombings. The doors alone of these bunkers weighed 85 tons. Given back to British forces in 1994, the facility has stood empty for 20 years, closely guarded by the Ministry of Defence. 3. Snake Island, Brazil Ia da Quimada Grande is an island off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil, which has been taken over by the world's deadliest snake, the Golden Lancehead Viper. Nicknamed Snake Island, it's the only place where this venomous snake is known to live, with an estimated 4,000 slithering across the island. In the 1920s, the island's only inhabitant, the lighthouse owner, mysteriously disappeared. It's said that a rescue team died one by one on the island while looking for him. It's also thought that the snake's venom paralyzes you and eats away at your flesh, but no one is certain, as people who've been bitten don't live long enough to reach the nearest hospital. The Brazilian Navy has now made the island off-limits. 2. Odessa Catacombs, Ukraine The Odessa Catacombs are a network of tunnels under the city of Odessa in the Ukraine. Created through limestone mining in the 19th century, the catacombs have been used by rebels, criminals and smugglers since their abandonment. However, they have never been extensively mapped or explored. In 2005, a young Ukrainian woman named Masha went out for a New Year's Eve party in the Odessa catacombs. During the party, Masha decided to explore and became lost in the dark. A massive search operation was launched, but Masha was swallowed by the 2,500 kilometers of tunnels. It took two years for her mummified corpse to be found. While there are some tours through the tunnels, many are unsanctioned due to the unsafe nature of the tunnels. 1. Aralsk-7 Research Base, Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan Known as Asbestos Island, Aralsk-7 was a Soviet research base located on an island in the Aral Sea. On the island, the military developed weaponized viruses, including anthrax. These days, the island is deserted. Germ-proof suits and lab equipment lie alongside rusting trucks and hundreds of cages for test animals. It's thought that rodents on the ballistic testing ranges may have caught the antibiotic-resistant super strain of bubonic plague. An ex-employee of the facility claimed that the Soviet researchers had worked out that bioweapons are the cheapest way to kill half the population in a square kilometer, costing just one dollar. Recently, the US has been working to disinfect the area, as a microbiologist stated that infected rodents remain, making it strictly off-limits.